Hello everyone, welcome back to Midnight with Milo, the show in which my hair is up, makeup is off, tea is hot, and blankets are in. <laughs> Next we have, thank you. Oh, the cord is going in. Because the guitar is cl like clearly inspired by a pop rock sound, especially from the 2000s, like early 2000s. But the what is it? Is it a synth? Yeah, <laughs> it's so 80s, so 80s. So the the wires in my brain were like malfunctioning. This album is just like. A wave of new experiences for me. Wait. Oh, he's like half singing it, which is more, more like pop emo. Oh my god, it's so so good. Where did this come from? more of what I wanted their title track to sound like but after that ID, I feel like it wouldn't have made sense since they already like, show that that they could do that right but I never expected this from Asahi <laughs> I actually talk about his voice a lot on this channel but I love his tone and the way he sings like so relaxed like 
it sounds like he doesn't even open his mouth, you know? So yeah, I always thought that he would sound great in like an R&B song, something more chill. But he like came out swinging here. <laughs> that, that high note at the end? What? I want to see this live so bad. No, I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. Now, last song, Hold It In. Word on the streets, and by on the street, I mean I don't remember where I read this, is that I think Hyunsuk wrote this during Treasure Box, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's... I feel like I read that somewhere. <laughs> Wait. I remembered. Vanessa told me this. Vanessa is awesome. Everyone say thank you, Vanessa. for me because it really didn't commit to being a slow song but the sentiment was there so I feel like it might take some time for me to get used to that right but because reading the lyrics I was like really sad for them but the bass was going like, I like I didn't know what to do looking at the track list I feel like this is a very cohesive album like the sound is very cohesive i feel like they definitely captured the essence of 
the end of the 2000s and the beginning of the 2010s. Yet every production was experimental enough to feel new, to feel like something I haven't heard before. It also sounds quintessentially treasure. I feel like with this album, they have really solidified their sound while still giving hints of like, we could also do that if we wanted to. Okay, guys, I had a blast. They're all so young and they're all so good. That's upsetting. Okay, now that I'm angry. Bye.